Hello, welcome to the video. Today we're going to take a look at the Lowland Radicate in the Open Great League. It's something that you really don't ever see in the Open Great League, to be honest. Like, I've, I don't think I've ever faced one. And I actually don't know really why it worked way better than I expected. Um, I had I had to cut out a lot of games here. Like, I only have, like I think, 11 games in here. I played 20 in total. Uh, Great League, I forgot how long battles can take. Nearly every battle was like around 4 or 5 minutes. So, yeah, mainly also because of my other two Pokemon, but also because the um, Alone Reticate actually has very, very good stats for Great League. That's something that a lot of people don't really realize. This thing gets to like 2100 or something as a stat product, which is pretty decent, like very, very bulky. Like, pretty, pretty, in general, like, pretty, pretty good in general there. We have the Quick Attack as a Quick Move, we have the Crunch as a Charge Move, and we have the Return as a Charge Move. And if you saw, like, the title and most likely a thumbnail, um, yeah, like, why the hell would you want to run, uh, or why would you really want to purify your alone radicates? Right now you can get this thing as a shadow version from Rocket Grunts as a new, like, new shadow Pokemon that's available right now. And this Pokemon has usually access to Hyper Fang and Hyper Beam, two pretty decent uh, charge moves as a normal type. And if you compare like Hyper Beam and the um, Hyper Fang to Crunch, for example, Crunch and Hyper Fang, both of them do pretty decent damage. Hyper Fang does less damage per energy, but does more damage in general because it needs more energy compared to Crunch. They're basically a similar moves, so like you already have Crunch, which usually is the better moveset. And then you have Hyper Beam. Hyper Beam needs 80 energy to do, I think, 130 damage, if I'm not wrong with that. So, like, you need, like, a lot of energy. And now you have the option to also go for the um, return here. Return, I think, is 110 or something for 70 energy or something like this. I'm not 100% sure. I hope that I can blend it in or something. Um, but the thing with this is it does slightly less damage per energy, but needs like 10 less uh, energy, which is very, very good. And it beats way more Pokemon nowadays thanks to the return compared to both of the other moves, like Hyper Fang, basically redundant if you have already the Crunch. And the Hyper Beam a little bit too long usually to get there. So return really helps this Pokemon in terms of moveset. And I tried to put in most matches here where the Eradicate actually did something. And this Pokemon usually is very, very good in restricted matters. Like something I really wanted to use it already in the Halloween Cup, but now I got this thing afterwards. So in the Halloween Cup, I think it would have been even better. Also, where it's going to be very good, going to be the Kanto Cup. And there are going to be more and more cups where this thing going to be available. The typing is very cool. It has a lot of bulk. The quick move or quick attack is something that you really don't see on any other Pokemon right now. The thing is, um, this is a wing attack clone, which is neither good or bad. It's just like really basically, in my opinion, wing attack is like the basic move which you can have. Like it basically generates a pretty okay amount of energy with 3.5 energy per turn and also does a little bit more, like it does good damage. But it's neither like counter, which does crazy amount of damage and also generates the same energy or something like a lock-on way, don't do any damage and you generate a crazy amount of energy there. So um, it's basically the standard, basically for me there's been a standard quick move, which is like the default version, which doesn't do too much damage and doesn't do, uh, doesn't generate too much energy and doesn't uh, do no damage and doesn't generate any energy. So it's like literally in between a very okay move. It's not like the craziest move. There are better moves out there, but quick attack is definitely not wrong. Especially because we have here stab finally on this. Usually, like I think the only quick attack user otherwise is the Verizian or whatever it's called in the Ultra League, which nobody uses anyway, but it has quick attack as the best quick move. And here we finally have something that also has quick attack. And you see here how this thing sweeps through an entire team, which is hilarious. The stun fist, it doesn't really matter. We can go for more crunches, crunching them down, and we can farm all the way down. We know, you see the book, we have a little bit more than half of our health, enough to take one Earthquake and enough to win this game here. The bulk of this thing is definitely something that you shouldn't underestimate. It's a very, very bulky Pokemon and it's definitely a cool Pokemon to use. We see a Laurentis in the lead, something that I don't really want to face, to be honest, with my team. I go for the Psycho Boost, which at least goes through. We have to shield here now because one super power is super effective. I don't really want to face that too much there. We see a Stunfisk in the back, which we should be able to do some pretty nice damage with our Lickitung. 
Of course, we have a very bulky team around this Radicate as well. Main reason for this team, I think the synergy between Radicate and the Deoxys defense is pretty decent. You have the option with the Deoxys defense to beat stuff like fighting types. You have the option to hit something like the poison type super effective. And this thing on the lead in general is very cool as you're going to be able to go for some nice psycho boost and dip out. And here we have a Talon Flame. I think I have to call the bait here from the Talon Flame here with our Radicate. I think we just have to take this move and we do take this move and we can go now. Go ahead and go for some nice crunches. Are we gonna go for this right now? I think they still need two more moves to get to their charge move. They're gonna let it go. I'm just gonna go for my next charge move and I think I'm fine here. My opponent gonna swap out into their Laurentis. I'm gonna be able to lick him down in time and they have to throw here, which they don't. And we're gonna be able to win this game. Easy peasy. Radicate is actually pretty bulky and pretty cool to play with right now. Like I really enjoyed using it. I can actually definitely recommend you to build this in it. Super cheap as well. You have to purify it anyway, like for this thing, which makes the charge move 8k to unlock. And otherwise, I don't think it like it's basically close to being uh, XL version. I think you can run it XL. Mine has like eight attack, which is like not the ideal scenario, but still was good enough for me because it went close to 1,500 CP. But um, you definitely don't really have to have XL, and it is always cheaper if you purify it anyway. So this didn't cost me a lot, and it was definitely a lot of fun to play. And another Pokemon that I really wanted to build for a long time. I finally have it and it's even better now thanks to the return, so luckily I didn't build it prior already. And I'm really gonna I'm most likely gonna make a shadow version of this thing as well and compared maybe one day, but right now, like this thing is all I really wanted and I got it, so I'm fine with that. Definitely you, sh you should try to get some of them as well. I definitely would recommend it to you. Here we should let this go and we're gonna be able to survive this, but we should be able to farm down with our Radicate and again three Pokemon against the Radicate. What can we do here? This thing is already bad to beat for us. We said they don't get the debuff. What we can swap into our DXS defense. Gonna catch the focus best there. And we can go now for some nice crunches. Crunching them down. And we only need three crunches to KO this um, Richie Steel. I expect my opponent to swap out onto my crunch because it's his only way to win this game. They know the counts didn't help him really because I found on the Deoxys. We can go for the crunch here again. And we're gonna be able to sweep again with our Radicate. Yep, oh, bye bye this thing. He goes for another move, does his KO. How much does it do? It's a Shadow War Rain with a strong move. Doesn't matter for the Radicate because we are still very bulky. We have a Stunfisk in the lead. Something that I'm definitely gonna take. We can see the Azumarill coming in here. We go for the Thunderbolt and put him into range for one power basically of our Licky Tongue. And we are looking pretty good here as we can realign our Pokemon afterwards. He, they go for the Hydro Pump. I don't really care too much about this. One Pope should be able to seal this match up. And we see the Stunfest coming in again. Can we go for another Pope? Oh, we can, which is very nice. As we have to get him low enough anyway to count him down later on. As we cannot really hit this thing with our charge moves. And yeah, we can go into our Deoxys defense again. What do we see in the back? Something maybe like the... Stable I would make sense with this team. It's like a very standard team. We see Oh no, we're gonna see that we can go for one psycho boost. It's gonna be the Stable Eye. Oh, what a surprise. And we have our ghost uh, or ghost or duck and normal type there resisting three times his quick moves. And my opponent just decides to surrender. We have a normal stun fisk in the lead, which I take as we can go for one psycho boost and swap out. That's basically what I always do in a neutral scenario with this team. You really want to use this as an ABB team as you have two normal types in the back so you need to get out the fighting type. As most of the time the fighting type is the Medicham, you're gonna be able to get this thing out with the Licky Tongue and still get a shield from it. You, I think you always win the zero shield scenario as a Licky Tongue against an XL Medicham which is very very nice so this is the main reason why I use it. I guess you could use something like a Vigoroth or something as well as a Sail Swap it would also work but I decide against it and we see the Talon Flame going for some nice moves here. Swapping out into the Stun Fisk, I'm gonna go into like go for my Psycho Boost, get him low enough and I can farm all the way down with my Radicate. I'm gonna be easily able to survive this Discharge and we can farm all the way down and we see the ability tough in this game is over. Like there's nothing I can do anymore, like this can just shield and farm me down. So never mind, they don't shield and we're gonna be able to just farm down with the counter. We still have a shield left, we have two Psycho Boost left and we're gonna be able to win this game because they didn't expect me to run something like the return there which does so much damage if it hits, it's insane. 
And this is like the cool thing about the Radicate as well. You have Bulk, you have a good bait move that actually can debuff the opponent's defense with the crunch. You have a quick move that generates fairly enough energy, like not crazy of course, but still a very decent amount. And then you have like the new Uthi return, which is just gonna destroy a lot of Pokemon. Honestly, it's just like one of the coolest Pokemon that I used recently. I really enjoyed it and can highly recommend you getting one. And it's just so cheap, so like why not get it? Especially if we have the Kanto Cup coming up again. And Kanto Cup has stuff like the Hypno available. You have the Ghost types like Haunter and the Gengar available. You have Miu available. So the main meta gonna be around those Pokemon anyway. And if you have like an ABB team again, like you're gonna be fine. Also, this thing beats the Licky Tongue, which gonna be always, like everywhere there as well. So basically, I think this already came. Definitely gonna get another video again when we have the Kanto Cup available. And we're gonna be able to destroy a lot of things there. This is gonna be a nice fest for this thing. Like, you're gonna be able to destroy the Alolan Merrick and stuff like this as well. Like, it's gonna be amazing. We see the Mandibus here, which doesn't do too much damage, even though, like, all the moves are neutral. We can still take this. We just blow half health. And we got enough energy that we should be able to win this matchup, hopefully. But we're gonna see, we cannot get the move through here, which is not really uh, ideal. I'm gonna go for the crunch here now, and, and you're gonna see now that my opponent all of a sudden gets like two or three quick moves in here. And I couldn't swap out in time, they definitely needed more energy than um, what they got there. I tried to swap, but thanks to the game, and you see here, I, it's my last Pokemon, I cannot go into it. I still win thanks to the lick damage, but holy hell, this game is broken. <laughs> it was like so, so annoying. We see a Magicham in the lead, which is something that I definitely take. We see the Reggie Steel coming in, which I don't really like to see. As Reggie Steel is a little bit tough to deal with this team, it's still fine with our Deoxys defense. But there you go for the Zap Cannon. We can go for another Thunderbolt, and we should be able to go now into our um, Licky Tongue after we stored one move there. And we might be able to still do something here, but I was kind of foolish, I guess. Because um, he goes for a power punch, I didn't know that he had power punch. And I'm just gonna go for the body slam now. And I just hope that he let this go so we might, may, may be able to KO this thing. But I didn't expect him to go for the psychic there, I thought it was another power punch. I didn't know that my opponent had that much energy. We had some lag there as well, which didn't really help either. But um, now we have a boosted mage champ against our Radicate, and you see this might not be the ideal scenario for us. They can boost itself up even more. We are very low and we see the Skarmory we just got right now there. I don't think we would have won this anyway, even if we would somehow would have KO'd this there, because Skarmory is a little bit tough if you already have Deoxys Defense gone. Basically Deoxys Defense would have beat his entire team, but um, yeah, we didn't really get it in the right positions there anyway. So, kind of annoying, but it's fine. We can easily take this Earthquake from the Stunfisk. We can go for some nice power whips. And we see the shield coming up from my opponent, which I don't really like. I kind of want to realign my Pokemon. My opponent perfectly baits me there with the Rock Slide. I'm just going to go for the move here again. And we see my opponent's shielding again, which I really don't like. And they go for the work side bait again, which I think is cool for me. And I'm just gonna shield here, expecting that I should be able to get to the move in time. They swap out into the Medicham. I can realign my Deoxys against it, which I really enjoy, as now I have my Ready Kate not against this thing. I don't think they have another um, counter user in the back. I can farm this down and win this matchup, which is very cool. They go for the power punch, does nothing. We see the Stunfist coming in again, I have to go for the Psycho Boost to KO this thing. What does my opponent have in the back? And we see it is the Double Steel line, which I haven't seen in ages. And we have to hope that our Ready Kid can do some nice damage against this Bastion. It doesn't look too good, all my Pokemon are very low. We go for the Crunch. We're gonna get the debuff, which is very important. We go for another Crunch, and this Crunch gonna be able to Crunch him down. So, we put him very, very low. He has one time debuff. We can go for the power whip in time here. And I think he tries to farm me down now. So I'm gonna swap after this power whip, getting the counter in, winning us the game. Good game there. Uh, that was a close one. Until most likely the last game, we see the Jellicent in the lead with the bubble. And of course, we have two normal types in the back. You know what I have to try to do here. Delicious Shadow Ball against us. Didn't do anything. Thanks for that. Kind of tickled a little bit, but hey. We have normal types, and we see the Nino Queen there coming in. We can go for two body slams, which might be able to get a shield from him. I don't know the matchup, and I think I might be wrong here because this doesn't do enough, sadly. As he can let this go, he can farm me down. 
I guess the damage of the Shadow Ball actually did his job there, preventing me from farming him down or like doing enough damage to him. We see the Needle Queen going down here. In comes again, of course, the Jealous, and of course, we have the Thunderbolt ready for him. We can fire this off, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna go for another one. I don't think he's gonna shoot this anyway. And they don't, and we see the Sabler in the back. We have our Reti Kate, and our Reti Kate gonna be able to win us the game most likely. Even though, of course, our quick move is also double resisted, his are triple resisted. We can go for the crunch, and they don't even have return because they're not purified. And yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Gonna it was still a longer video, even though I only had like 11 games in here because I had to cut so much out. I mainly put the videos in where the Radicate did a lot of things. I also had like a lot of games that I didn't include here where I won the, the game. So, um, but just like not really with the Radicate, so it <laughs> just happens. And we're still gonna be able to finish this thing off with our Radicate here. Thanks for watching. See you next video. Have the greatest of your days, and yeah, bye.